Think about it. What if you could have a lens that you can take wide landscape shots with and at the same time ultra telephoto to zoom in with and photograph a close-up of something really, really far away from you? All that in a package that is really small, light and portable and most importantly in a package that delivers really great quality. And now we have new APS-C Tamron with the longest name ever. Tamron 18 to 300mm f3.5 to f6.3 Di3A VC VXD lens for Sony. And with that many letters in its name, it must be good. Tamron have been really delivering amazing lenses for Sony E-mount recently and this new offering for APS-C sensor cameras is no exception. 18 to 300 mm is a whopping 27 to 450 millimeters on a full frame camera and it is this small. This is 16.6 times zoom in this, this small package. In the past, lenses like this always had issues, especially at the far end of the focal range. But this new breed of lenses are literally not too good to be true. This is all true and all good. I know that the aperture of f3.5 at 18mm and f6.3 when fully zoomed in will put a lot of people off this lens. It has got no constant aperture, it's not f2.8 or even f4. These smaller variable aperture zooms like this one are very often treated as amateur lenses and dad lenses. Lenses that your dad would buy to take on a family vacation to photograph everything from a group family portrait to a pretty girl in a bikini without her knowing. Not that you should be doing that. But in reality, this is one of the most versatile lenses that you could buy for pretty much everything. One lens that not only has got an incredible focal range, but one that actually doesn't weigh as much as your house, making it great travel lens. I think the biggest issue or presumption a lot of people will have about f3.5 to f6.3 apertures will be the fact that you don't get that subject to background separation like you do with primes or wide aperture zooms and combining it with APS-C sensor making it even worse. But this couldn't be further from the truth due to the zoom compression. The effect when the background seems closer to your subject and it really is when zooming on to your subject and creating that ultra blurred background at the same time. So for the lack of wide aperture, this huge focal length compensates a lot for that with zoom compression, giving you that incredible bokeh and background blur. The only issue with the aperture range of this lens is the fact that it might not be the best option to shoot with in low light. No problem in daylight outside, but it might be a little limiting indoors or at night. I have been shooting with it for three weeks now and I'm very impressed with how versatile this lens is. Literally nailing the landscape and portrait, but also close-up photography. It's not a dedicated macro lens by any means, but that zoom allows you to get closer, maybe not get in closer, but zoom in closer for macro-like photography when magnification of 1 to 2. Minimum focusing distance of only 15 centimeters at wider end and 1 meter when fully zoomed in. When zooming in this much, any hand movements are hugely magnified. But really surprisingly, with a lens this size, this has got optical stabilization built in. This not only helps to nail those close-up photos sharper, but also it is great for filming handheld with. Stabilization works really well and makes this lens more attractive option for those of you who have a Sony APS-C camera without IBIS. Tamron states that this lens is equipped with artificial intelligence that automatically selects the optimal image stabilization setting for video recording with focal lengths of up to 70 centimeters. But in my experience filming with it, the stabilization gives you almost tripod-like shots handheld even when fully zoomed in at 300 millimeters. This is a good choice for video work. AF works just as well as, as with any Sony lens. Lens that is wide enough to even handheld vlog with as well as shooting pretty much anything from interviews to wildlife and certainly small enough and light enough to be used on a gimbal. Maybe not fully zoomed in to 300 millimeter, but anywhere to 50, 70 millimeters mark for sure.
overall the performance is very good there's very little chromatic aberration visible way below average there's some bulging and pin cushion at either end of the zoom but nothing unusual and nothing that can't be fixed easily in post good color contrast and it is sharp but bear in mind that it is harder to nail those perfectly sharp shots at those big magnifications when you when you're zooming in when it comes to its build this is standard Tamron. All current mirrorless camera Tamron lenses have this uniform look and they all, including this one, sport the same 67mm filter thread. There's no buttons on this lens apart from basic lock button for locking the zoom barrel in at 18mm so it does not extend when being pulled out of the camera bag or by accident when carrying it around. The lens barrel extends a bit out when zooming in, firm to turn but not smooth enough if you ever wanted to get smooth zooming in footage moisture resistant exterior construction i guess it doesn't mean that it is fully weather sealed but this is better than nothing and should protect your lens from light rain or dust it's all standard hard durable plastic and it weighs 620 grams not exactly feather light but considering how big the zoom range it is 450 millimeter full frame equivalent this is a very impressive weight it does make a 6600 or any other a 6000 series camera a little bit front heavy but it's not huge to dwarf the camera there's literally no other lens like this for sony aps-c e-mount cameras value for money great quality images and video insane zoom range decent size and weight built-in image stabilization all-in-one lens that can do it all for the price of £679 here in UK or $699 in US. It is not a lens for everyone, for sure. But if you are not interested in buying or carrying multiple lenses every time you leave the house, this is a very, very versatile option. It might seem like glorified kit lens to a lot of people, but the quality it delivers is on par with premium lenses that cost double the money of what this costs. Anyway, there's no other lens like this for Sony APS-C cameras. There's no other lens with this wide focal range available right now. Considering its spec, focal range, and obviously the quality it delivers, this is a really good value for money in my opinion. Conclusion, pretty perfect dad lens or a lens for anyone who wants it all but without the need of changing lenses to go from wide to from wide to ultra zoom close-up. This is insane focal range of 18 to 300 millimeter or 27 to 450 millimeter on a full frame and it sounds too good to be true but in fact it is true. Tamron has delivered yet again and this lens will be a very popular popular with all of APS-C camera photographers. Probably it will be more popular with beginners but it is good enough for professional work in my opinion. It all depends really how big camera and lens snob you are because that would be the only reason stopping you from using a lens like this professionally for landscape, portrait or close-up photography or anything else in, in between. Yes, it's a not wide aperture super lens and it's not trying to be the price reflects that very well it is a lens that is affordable and super fun to shoot with every time i took it out with me i never thought that i am missing something or that i wish i had another lens with me quite the opposite i have never used a lens that i could shoot this wide and this close with and a lens that is this versatile. If you like all-in-one lenses and you want something that can truly deliver high quality, this is it. And this is it from me. If you like this review and this kind of lens camera talk which I post on this channel weekly, then you know what the drill is. Yeah, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you next time. Super zoom, 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 zoom. It's heavy, but not that heavy. It's actually okay heavy. Tamron 18 to 300 f3.5 to f6.3 Tamron 18 to 300 Tamron zoom Tamron call it that Tamron 18 to 300 mm f3.5 to f6. Tamron 18 to 300 mm f3.5 to x6.3 di3a v v something something <laughs> And it's a wrap.